and Bert McClintock from Strategic Financial Solutions joins us now. We're enjoying that story too much. I yeah. know we were. <laughs> Thinking for about <laughs> Halloween. But what is not scary is health savings accounts. Tell us what those are and how they can help people. Yeah, so health savings accounts are a way for people to ideally save some money on their health insurance premiums. They're typically attached or not typically, always attached to a high deductible health plan. Uh, so they tend to work best for individuals or families that are healthy, but can just be a great tool uh, as you think about your overall budget. Yeah, and keeping those hospital bills in mind. What impact can they have on taxes? Yeah, so typically you're able to save into these vehicles on a tax deferred basis. Um, you have opportunities to invest them in interest bearing accounts or even stocks and bonds. The growth of those grows tax deferred and as long as you use them on health insurance related costs, they are able to be distributed tax free. So almost a kind of a triple tax savings, if you will. Right, and good, good on both ends, going in and out there. And can you tell us who can have an S HSA? It depends on your health insurance plan. Yeah, so you do need to have a high deductible health insurance plan, which typically means as an individual, your deductible needs to be over $1,500 or as a family, over $3,000. Um, kind of the catch is you're, you're shouldering more of the burden if you do have health care expenses. So the first $7,500 for an individual is kind of your responsibility. So if you're thinking about you can save $3,850 per year into a HSA, you almost need to have two or three years of really good health um, right out of the gates as you're starting them to not deplete those dollars too quickly. Yeah, and kind of planning that out can be hard to do when it comes to your health. Sure can. And are there limits on how much you can contribute to your account? Yeah, so there's, there's limits per year. It changes kind of like your IRA or any other contribution. So they're typically indexed for inflation. But for this year, it's $38.50 for individuals and $75.50 or $77.50, I think, for families. So there's limits on how much you can get in there. You definitely want to keep that in mind as you're, as you're thinking about making contributions. We're almost a year in. So if you haven't maxed those out yet, you do have till April 15th to max those out. But that would be a, a strong encouragement uh, just to make sure that, that you get dollars in there and you don't have to spend them in the year that you put them in like your FSAs so they can roll over year to year and, and grow into some nice accumulation buckets for you. And what can that money be used for beyond just hospital bills? Yeah, so it can be used for, for really anything health insurance related, so prescription drugs. Um, you can even use them to pay for some long-term care insurance and things of that nature, but it does need to be used for health related uh, items. If not, you get you know, some, some taxes penalties, and penalties yeah. on, uh -huh. on the earnings and, and the fact that you put dollars in tax deferred. All right. And Bert, thanks for joining us here today. Yeah, my pleasure. And stay with TV9. We'll be right back.